Mob Psycho 100. Here we go. I've been so looking forward to this for so long. This show has consistently ranked like third, fourth in show polls for what to watch. Already it looks really col colorful. Really unique. Sort of psychedelic. <laughs> oh yeah, I should also mention that like usual, I know very little about the show or what it's about. I just know that the opening is hype. What is happening? What is going on? They're like fighting LSD demons in some sort of cosmic battle for the universe. <laughs> Midnight Gospel, the anime. I also like how there's just no explanation at all. <laughs> this starts off like this. He's about to get to... 100. What happens when he gets to 100? <laughs> All right, that was intense. My Hero Academia opens with a shot of some little kids. Mob Psycho 100 starts with getting swallowed by a cosmic turtle in the battle for the Shadow Realm. There was something so unique about that, that battle and its style. Whether you believe it or not, the world around you is filled with strange phenomena. I believe it. There are those who choose to fight against the darkness. The style day. is so interesting. Character design. These warriors opposing the shadows are called psychics. Psychics. You're in luck! I, regular attacker, shall accept this job! Which course? He's got a menu. The trial course gets you 20%. Very professional. Option B, the serious course gets you 50%. It's a real racket. It's a business. Spirits are kinda like carbon dioxide. So you're saying they're poisonous? It's monoxide. <laughs> yeah, chemistry's not my best subject, so I can't judge. Hold on a second! Huh? And who might you be? Oh, this is Taro. He's my boyfriend. Ugh, Taro. Hanako, you should really reconsider this. Super shady, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that reaction. <laughs> Just leave everything uh -oh, to me. Closing if the blinds. I exorcise the spirit. I'm sure Hanako's face will return to normal too. There's nothing oh. wrong with her face, you moron! You have to go there. I really like this guy. <laughs> I love that. I love how it starts with this opening about how there are people standing up to the darkness. And then our first example is like Anizuka looking used car salesman feeling dingy office having blonde guy who just blasts all over that guy's ego insulting his girlfriend's face about this profession. Humor aside, just to take a very, very early stab at what it could mean. I don't believe in ghosts or spirits in that sense, but I do feel like there are definitely moments where things sort of descend out of nowhere. Like, you can be possessed, in a sense, all of a sudden by a mood or a state of being that is really difficult to explain and can completely consume you. You know what gave me some insight into this, weirdly, is being an ex-smoker. I've had a bunch of experiences with completely quitting nicotine, and when you're addicted and you go off of it, your brain basically shuts down, and everything you look at is bleak and terrible and catastrophic and it's not like there's this aspect of yourself that's in a funk because you're in withdrawal it's your whole thing like your whole thing to its root is compromised by that withdrawal which is one of the really difficult things about quitting a substance because the tools you used to first make the choice to quit are themselves compromised by the quitting we think there's like this separate part of our brain that conducts logic but it's all connected and if if things go wrong at the root it all goes wrong and at that point it just becomes a battle of will but it's been so fascinating in those moments to fail at times and smoke and immediately see the whole world differently. It's like night turns to day and bleak and impossible turns to beautiful and uplifting and possible. And it's crazy and interesting and terrifying how much we can be gripped as well as undermined by just like a, a physical or emotional state. And that can happen for a bunch of reasons. I mean, just the wrong thing happens. Something emerges from the depths that's been previously been hidden due to an observation or whatever. It's always lurking, you know, the darkness is always there. That's sort of a pragmatic way of looking at like the idea of being possessed. Even at my highest points, I've learned that you're one misstep away from the depths, if that makes sense. But there's a really amazing opportunity created by those situations and that exists for the characters. It's like, how do you deal with those depths when everything is dark, as they put it? How do you navigate that? What do you cling on to? What are your guiding forces? And most importantly, which packages do you create for sale and how much do you sell them for? So you've been having these dreams since you walked through that abandoned building last week. Yes, that's right. The style is so interesting, so unique, really stands out. <laughs> what an unbelievable <laughs> I'm getting some FLCL vibes from this show so far. Hold up. Did you just point at the wrong building? <laughs> uh, uh, so it's that one! Don't you hate that feeling when you're trying to like, hustle people for money? That someone's gotta apply common sense? The nerve. A man-shaped evil spirit almost walked through you! Huh? Whew, what a close call. 
If I wasn't here, I would have been doing it. The butt chin goblin. Now what are you? <laughs> Shut your That's mouth admittedly being rude. a butt on his face. Everything's becoming so clear. He's really selling it. Oh, I'm getting creepy vibes. Even someone like me might not be able to handle it. It's too dangerous! You know what's funny is that everyone sort of believes in this stuff. Like, even people who don't believe in it. I mean, yeah. I mean, forget it. Cockroaches are the worst. Even, like, the most hardcore rational skeptics, you put them in a creepy setting where it's dark and they're alone, they immediately become believers. Everyone becomes a believer on some level. Everyone can feel the the lurking darkness of spirits, you know? And I actually feel like there's probably a rational explanation for it. It's probably an instinct that keeps us safe from being in situations where we're most vulnerable. For example, being alone at night. It's probably a survival mechanism bred through actual death. That instinct, you know, that feeling of goosebumps or feeling like you're being watched probably is a result of evolution, which means it's also the result of people actually dying, which means it is in a weird sense like a ghost. It's a ghost that exists in you. He's a complete and total fake! <sighs> yeah, what were you saying about fake? Maybe I'll use my curse and crash both your heads through the ceiling. Ah! That's the guy this guy doesn't seem so bad. He seems like he's just chilling. I've got this Do they work together? This is one of Ray's special in on the racket? attacks, where he violently throws table salt everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Made you more delicious. Well, if salt won't melt this guy down, I'll just call my ultimate weapon. We got time to phone a friend. We have this "Who Wants hey, to Be a Millionaire" Bob, option. Sorry, do you think you could swing by? Bob. I'm being serious here. Evil spirits right in front of me. <laughs> he's just he's waiting for this phone call to end. Didn't even bother to change out of his slippers for this haunting. And the cockroaches are the real, real enemy here. The real threat. Who is Mob though, and what is he about? Is he a student? Hey, Mob. Nice haircut. Hmm. I like it. So after the salt, you're sending in a middle schooler. He's a middle Get schooler. And you got Ghostbusted. He is that was kind of unnecessary. He didn't, didn't seem also that bad. Mob. mob. We're gonna call him Mob from here on out. The student who vastly surpassed the master immediately. Hey, it's the opening! I've heard it before. It's amazing. And now we get an opening in the beginning of a pilot, as usual. But I've never actually seen it. I've only heard it. Very colorful. <laughs> Who knew that counting numbers consecutively could get me so pumped? 33, 34. See, I already know the words. It's just uh, floating in the air and spinning. <laughs> like this, the salt splash made it into the intro. I hope that's just his, his technique from now on. Never change, Reagan. Very interesting. He turned into broccoli, and he turned into takoyaki. So cool. I I just can feel the potential. Uh, there's so much here. There's so much we can do with this. Getting into the spiritual, psychedelic, supernatural. 98, 99, 99, and then I oh, don't say 100, do they? Love Psycho 100. Oh man, you're all nice. <laughs> another another day's work. Your pay for the day? Oh, thank you. A fair cut. Three dollars. You can buy yourself three whole sodas. You misuse a power such as yours. It can only lead to your own self-destruction. So there's a danger for them. Remember your promise. You will not use your psychic powers against other people. Progress towards Mob's explosion, 22%. So at 100% he, he goes nuts. So we already got the Spider-Man great power, great responsibility. But yeah, if you can blast through your demon, so to speak, and reach 100% of your whatever it is, potential or something, what are you going to do with that? Here's a question. If you if you could see the threads, right? If you could see the threads of how people think and act and start to pull at them to influence the way things go, what would you do? Would you have ethical lines? You know what I mean? How much would you start to see people as a means to an end? Or how much would you respect their autonomy? That is some, that is some tasty looking Oma rice. There is no spoon. You really need to stop doing that. It's a bad habit. It's a trait of a psychic. Come now, my dear. Shigeo's going through puberty. A young man should be able to bend a spoon from time to time, right? I remember when I hit puberty. It's a confusing time developing your psychic powers. I'll always be there for my big brother. Ooh. Thanks. Interesting. I appreciate He's got a cool it. brother. Is he the first anime protagonist in shows I've watched that has like a full family on this channel? He is, right? I guess Korra, but she had no siblings. Her uncle wasn't the best. Seasoning City, Salt Middle School. Good morning, Tsubomi. Good morning. Why are- what? He just sees them as bell peppers and cookies. Tsubomi is as cute as ever today. I mean, especially when you put her next to Pepper Girl. <laughs> Let's go with Kageyama. Huh? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, I have no idea. We can't even pass arithmetic one. Uh, 
Oh, he's not not a star in other areas. I see. Doesn't matter. He's got that psychic heart. He's gonna do a lot of good Hello? and maybe a lot of bad as well. Could you come down to the station right now? <laughs> How's he supposed to study? Is like a part-time job saving people's lives and this guy's bottom line. He's bottling things up. Is that what it is? So it's the site of a huge group accident? Yeah, the incident occurred about 30 years ago. From what it says here, more than 20 people died at once. The bitter hatred of all those people must be swirling around that tunnel. Going back to what I was saying about ghosts being sort of real in the sense that they're carried by living people, it's hard to imagine anyone visiting the site of an accident like this and knowing about the accident and not having that affect them. So isn't that in some sense like a spirit, you know what I mean, like a ghost? Even if it's not this metaphysical, sheet-wearing, translucent being, there is like an energy or a life to it, if that makes sense, although it's one carried by the observer. Stay on your toes, Ma. Never know what might happen. Oh, right. But whatever happens, we will throw salt at it. It'll be fine. We're gonna exorcise every last one of them. <laughs> Please. What's the big idea? What are you doing, student? You seem to have it under control, so I didn't think. I don't think he happen. has it under control. I feel like he's putting on this calm demeanor, but is always hanging by a thread. You're amazing, master. <laughs> uh -huh. I mean, this tunnel actually seems pretty dangerous. That's when Reagan changed his mind about going first. They'd never make it out in one piece. <laughs> I'm gonna let you do this as a learning experience. All right, here we go. Let me take the lead. Internships be like. Be counting on you to support me however you can from behind. My nose is a little stuffy today, so. Does that have anything to do with sensing auras? When you get to my level, it does. <laughs> I love how he's the answer for everything. They're going to attack us now. All right. All right, we're All ready small for you. this. Let me just get my salt. I like how he gets a glamour shot despite doing nothing. Oh well, I'm pretty sure that took care of all of them. Another piece of cake. Oh, you're about to, yeah. There's someone right in front of me. How are you? An evil spirit. Why did it look like One Punch Man? It's the same, uh, same creator, right? Now go practice somewhere else. Oh, it, it's another butt chin spirit. You fool! In this it's got butts on his shoulder too. Just butts everywhere. The guy in front happened to slip on a banana peel. We Here's the Demon Slayer tragic leave. demon backstory. Bananas, man. How many lives have they claimed? Based go. on his appearance, I, I feel like I, I was expecting him to be have, have died by. Something butt related. The moment you try to take on the genius psychic Reagan Arataka, you're about to get moment, salty. <laughs> this is one of Reagan's special attacks where he punches the enemy with his fist covered in table salt. Damn. He didn't switch the salt yet? Go back to the Ozo Lair. Mob is doing this, right? Still got butts on his face. My brothers, the Death Spectres, and I just couldn't take it. Our memories would never rest in peace. That's all I wanted to say. Butt chin origins. It's a little weird that the aura I felt before coming in here hasn't disappeared yet. Something's still not right. Hmm? This kid is something else. How did he get so powerful? No matter how strong that kid may be, he doesn't stand a chance against it. <laughs> He's got no fear, this kid. You get it now? Speaking of being possessed, he like can't not do it. He was born for this. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not doing well with this design. Internships, am, am I right? There is sort of a One Punch Man like thing going on here, right? Because he's sort of already equipped. He's like already powerful, you know what I mean? But what is it connected to? What gives him this strength? That evil spirit wasn't very powerful. Wow, that is some power scaling right there. It's right for a hundred years until this middle school kid comes along. I'm nobody. You idiot! Humble too. Now the Death Spectres gang could leave this tunnel Can't and pass stop. on peacefully. Looking at oh, Chin. Could this be yours? Huh? And he solves this all right, here we go, demon's boss, trauma. Man. Gives him some closure. He just does it all, this kid. <laughs> wow. Self-proclaimed psychic Reagan, Arataka, and Mob. Episode one. Now we get to part to the Unmoved. <laughs> He's just blankly staring. 
Why didn't you do anything back there? All part of your training. Does ramen work for you? Uh-huh. He's like it's paid in food. Yeah, Reagan is obviously this kind of shady dude, but I still get the sense that it's a good relationship. Mob obviously is the one with all the talent, but Reagan's got sort of that pizzazz, <laughs> you know what I mean? He's got an energy that Mob doesn't have. Mob sort of doesn't have the most exuberant personality. There's a really cool heart and levity that Reagan provides. Another thing he brings to the table is salt. A lot of salt. He seems to always have that in hand. So I'm really impressed with the first episode. First of all, the style is strikingly unique. Even though in a way it feels less polished, there's a charm to it. And I feel like based on that intro, there's going to be a lot of really cool sequences that are very colorful. Yeah, style. It feels to me, although I could be wrong, that this world and its elements are going to be thematically linked and that the characters are going to have some real depth. And also that it's going to be a lot of fun. It seems like there's a lot of self-awareness and some pretty great and funny writing already, even in the first episode. So I can't wait to see how this world and its characters develop. I can already feel like it's going to be a blast.